This reading is for my Scorpios. Okay? I want to say thank you to all my subscribers, all my new subscribers. Welcome. If you haven't already hit that bell button, hit that bell button at the bottom so you can get a notification each time I upload. Somebody's in a lot of regret, okay? They're in a lot of regret. Um, this person is um, actually, they're in a lot of fear. This fear is giving me, someone feels like they mess things up. They feel like somebody doesn't know how to return. They don't know how to return, but somebody knows that they want to, they're coming back. They coming back. I'm picking them heavy on reconciliation. This person is thinking about you a lot. We have unrequited love here. I feel like this person made you feel unworthy. Like somebody is burning in, like, somebody is burning in their own fire. What somebody, what somebody intended for you to feel, this person actually feel like this. Somebody wants to come back. Somebody wants a reconciliation. Somebody wasn't expecting love to go down like this. This person had like this, 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 um, this energy about them picking up where they just knew when they meet the person, they were just going to be with them. Um, and that was that. Somebody did not realize by walking away from you or however it went, you walked away from them or they walked away from you. Somebody did not think that they would be bothered in any way. Okay. They didn't because they know you gave, they gave you unrequited love. They didn't show you the, the attention and affection that you deserve. Okay, somebody just felt like they had it all together. If you leave, walk away, everything in their life will be fine. Somebody is definitely, um, it's something about your energy. I heard codependent. So this person could be needing your energy. Okay, and we have forbidden relationship and breakup. Okay. Something about this connection didn't sit well with you, right? It didn't sit well. It didn't sit real well with you. You pulled your energy back. You started focusing on yourself. You're healing, okay? Somebody is now having a wishful, um, wish, wishful thinking with the wish card. Somebody want to bring you in love offer, okay? You could be very abundant, but this, um, this how this person sees you. They see you as the abundance. This person could not be doing too well right now. This person could be struggling with mental. Um, oh, mental. Wow, spirit. I was going to say this person could be struggling with a lot of um, many different issues in their life. But spirit is saying this person is struggling with mental. Spirit said mental. And I was going to say many. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay. Um, somebody felt like you was going to come back to them, but you didn't come back. And that's why the fear is here with the thinking of you. Somebody is afraid that you are going. Somebody knows that they showed you unrequited love. I'm hearing come back to me. Come back to me. But you guys haven't made any return. This person is in deep regret. This person could be a smoker. Anything else, Holy Spirit? We have feelings and loyalty. Yeah. Somebody has any feelings when it comes to you. Because they... This person sees you as someone very loyal, you very beautiful. It's an innocence about you. I'm here and I hope you understand that I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean what I said, I'm here. Okay. I feel like whoever I'm picking up on, this is somebody that didn't see themselves um, being in a committed relationship. This person could be someone who's very more committal, in and out of relationships. Okay. Let me, let me see something. I just want to see something real quick. So let's see. I'm here and I care for you more than I showed you. Give me some messages, Holy Spirit, from my collective sun seed. Give me some messages from the person. 
Thank you, Holy Spirit. There's so much I want to tell you. I knew it. But this person, um, they in fear. They scared. I'm hearing, do you care? Do you still care? Give me more messages, Holy Spirit. Yeah, please forgive me. Fights, arguments, and conflict. This person could have been very argumentative. This person just felt like they just knew it all. Whatever you brought to this person's attention, it just like, this person just felt like you was tripping, you was bugging. What are you talking about? Somebody made you feel crazy and it was not a damn thing wrong with your spirit is saying. So you decided to walk away and pull your energy back. You felt like this relationship wasn't for you. It, it was definitely time for separation. Somebody didn't know by you walking away that you were the abundance. Because I heard, I mean, I heard this person has a mental issue, but I also heard that this person has um, gone through many like difficulties in their life. Somebody didn't realize when you left, the abundance left. Love off of abundance and wish. Somebody is wishing for you now. They didn't know about you walking away. You were their abundance. You were their key to abundance. Very innocent. Very beautiful. Very loyal. Very dedicated. Very devoted to this connection. This is um, going to be for some of you guys. It didn't even get off the ground yet. You guys were in the beginning stages. I feel like when this person approached you, um, you felt a strong attachment to this person. And this person did too, as well, Spirit is saying. But the connection got too intense. And this is somebody who doesn't really, could really have um, issues when it comes to commitment. Maybe this person went through something as a child. Maybe this person was abandoned um, in some type of way. But this person, um, or just maybe a lot of people just walked out this person like. But this person struggled. Um, they struggle when it came to you. I'm hearing like, how you gonna do me like that? How you gonna do me like that? But I feel like you you came through with your pure, divine, divine energy. And somebody come reciprocate that. So they treated you bad. You didn't deserve that. Somebody treated you bad. So somebody packed up, took their loyalty with them. Okay. A lot of you guys took your loyalty and your feelings with you and you focused on yourself. You were the abundance. By being attached to you, you were the abundance. That's why this person wants your forgiveness. Yeah, it's a lot that they want to tell you. That's why this person constantly thinking about you all the time. I feel like some says you don't want to fight. You don't want to argue. Okay, you guys are in a good place in your life where you you know you're bettering yourself. You learned a lot more about yourself through this connection, even um, through the separation. For a lot of you guys, you want this reconciliation with this person. You just want this person to see you for who you are. Work on themselves. Do better. Treat you the way you treat them. I do see a major apology here. Yeah. This person could have um, allowed a third party in. Whether whoever that was, people, place, or things. Okay, because third party doesn't always have to be um, another person, another romantic um, party. But it definitely could be. But I'm just saying, whoever, whoever got in the way of this connection is the third party. And that definitely um, could have been an issue. For some of you guys. Spirit, give me more messages from my collective Sunseed person.
this person gave you mixed feelings all because they was confused anything else for my collective senses person yeah i still have growing to do you deserve better you are always on my mind so i'm picking up on an ex-lover okay Someone who just needed time to mature. That's all this that's all this was. Somebody treated you unrequited because and you didn't do anything wrong. You were just being your true authentic self. But whoever this person is, male or female, you know that this is just energy. Somebody just needed time to mature. So whoever this ex-lover is, or whoever this person you're in separation um, from, they just needed time to mature. That's it. You're always on my mind. I miss you. I feel like I ruined everything. That's their fear. I love you. This person's constantly having sexual fantasies about you. So if you've been feeling any type of sexual energy um, a lot lately, more than usual, mostly at night, this is this person sending you sexual energy. This person is thinking about you. What's behind this? I love you. Oh, I love you and I miss you. Yeah, this person, this person is saying, I will find my way back to you. I think the world of you. Yeah. This person is sorry. This person, um, I feel like this person was easily, um, easily to give into low vibrational energies because that's where this person, um, was vibrating at, at that time. I was just, it's just mainly, um, picking up on, um, someone who just, Needed time to mature. Somebody is seeing something from, um, yeah, they just wasn't ready at the time. Somebody knew they would always find their way back to you, but they just needed time. This person is very jealous and possessive over you. If you choose to move on or you have moved on, or you could, somebody could have been communicating with this person like, I moved on. Somebody does not want to hear that. This person checks up on you and spies on you. Someone feel like you have grown so much sunseed to where they feel like they're not enough for you anymore. Mm. Your love kept this person safe. Your person didn't know that if this person was um, pro um, prosperous, you know, abundantly... Uh, when they were in your energy, it was because of you. Somebody's attached to you. Anybody that's attached to you wins. That's what I'm picking up. Anybody that's attached to you wins. But when you pulled your energy back, it's like everything dried up. Like <laughs> there's nothing, there's nothing good happening anymore for this person. Somebody loves your shrimp. Anything else there before we can hop in the tarot? I didn't want to make this reading too so long because they get right to the point can't make it an apology. I'm sorry. Somebody made you feel like, it, look, I'm not about him. It's not over. Yeah, it's not over. Mm. So a lot of you guys, this person did break your heart and you found out about a rebound. It wasn't to see it. This person was being petty. This person thought you was going to chase after them. For a lot of you guys, wow, thank you, Spirit. For a lot of you guys, this person thought you was going to chase after them. Once you found out about a, a, a rebound, a third party, you didn't do that. For a lot of you guys, you went with that. I'm getting a hermit. I'm getting a hermit and an empress. Somebody went with that. Learned many lessons. Came out a true, true divine. A true divine being. Your love has always been genuine. The nerve of this person. There's an ex-lover here who just needed to mature. The love was there. Somebody was acting like a page. Yeah, heartbroken. And that's what it is, son. See, somebody is heartbroken in secret. They are. And they hanging on to you.
This person could be single now. Somebody could be not um, mingling, you know, doing too much because nobody does it for them but you. <sighs> yeah, guarded and rejected. This person is feeling like this. I'm getting a seven, um, seven of wands. This person is feeling like you're protecting your energy. This person feels rejected. This person feels alone. They feel isolated. But somebody is going to come in and take action because this person, if you move on, this person is very jealous. When it comes to you, just the idea of you being with anyone else makes this person very jealous. This person knows you very trustworthy. When it comes to not even just being in a relationship with you, your friendship, just having someone like you in their life. Someone sees you as marriage material and want to take a leap of faith. There is a third party that's um, very worried about that because they know that this person is coming towards you, asking for your forgiveness. Somebody see, seeing things from a new perspective. I'm getting a hangman. Somebody's going to be asking you for forgiveness. Whoever this karmic is, this is their karma. Somebody thought it was all fun and laughing games when they, when this energy came, when you, um, whoever your person is that came towards you. But with this karma and round and round, this is like, this is not, this wasn't nothing new. This is what this person does. Because this person was scared of commitment. Somebody thought they had one up on you and they really, they ain't have nothing. Where the hell that's coming from, spirit? Yeah, somebody, romantic leap of faith. Somebody wants to take a leap of faith on this connection with you. And they're spying. But the third party spies. You know why this karmic spies? You know why? This karmic spies? Because they know. They know that this person is coming towards you. They know that. But they thought it was all giggles and laughs when this energy came, you know, broke your heart. You achieved something that just seemed, that seemed impossible, Sunseeds. You achieved something that seemed impossible. You invested in yourself and you worked on yourself. Someone is amazed. Somebody did not know by you walking out their life or you not being in their life. The abundance, the abundance leaves too. Yeah, look at this. I cannot make it up forever in new perspective. I said I see the hangman. Yeah, look, reconcile. Message sent. This person is going to be sending you a message. Yeah, wow, devoted in marriage. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's something about that divine energy. I can't make it up. Trustworthy. It's something about that divine energy. You just can't find nowhere else. You cannot. Yeah, you can't find nowhere else. There's no competition. Somebody mad, angry, want to fight over something that was never theirs. But you over here living your best life. You over here living your best life. Meaning to where you're happy in spirit. That is abundance. Having a peace of mind, that is abundance, sun seeds. Mm. Let's pull up on the table. Let's get a few messages from the table. Holy Spirit. Here's the more messages. Eight of Cups of Judgment. What did I say? Eight of Cups in Judgment. Mm. A lot of you guys felt like this wasn't, this, this connection wasn't, it just wasn't working for you. It was too many chokos and conflict. It was too much. Somebody answers, it's like, no, baby, you deserve better. I know it's, I, with this Eight of Cups, I know it wasn't easy. There's a lot of feelings and emotions here. Person gave you a lot of mixy feelings, mixed feelings. 
whoever you walked away from this person want a second chance i can't make it up two of cups under the bottom wow nine of pentacles somebody sees you as their person nine of cups they wish fulfillment what did i say thank you spirit what did i say love offer and abundance wish you are this person's wish fulfillment but they see you as a seven of wands. They feel like you're guarding your energy. You're protecting your energy. This person thinks about you so much. Um, it could come off as spell work. Like if this person chatting on your name. Or just, you know, constantly thinking about you to bring you so you could come back to them. Mm. Oh, wow. Maybe you're aware of this person does this. The higher front. Four of Pentacles. Yeah. This person is holding on to this. Okay. Because they see you as their wife. Somebody sees you as their wife. High for four of pentacles, queen of pentacles, six of wands. That's a yes. Seven of pentacles, someone they can grow with. Somebody, but somebody, somebody feels like you will be theirs. This person loves you, and this person knows. But what I do like about this energy is the fact that somebody realized that I gotta grow up. This person, you know, Mr. Sunflower Collective Sussy Dane deserved it. I gotta grow up. I gotta do better. This person is my person. I'm scared as hell. I lost this person. This person is thinking of you constantly, all around the clock. Night of Cups, the fool card. Somebody want a brand new start. Somebody also feel like you got it going on. I heard you got it going on. You turn this person on each and every way. Somebody seeing you very abundant. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this person seeing things from a higher perspective, five of pentacles. Somebody want to come out of cold. Give me a photo on the five of pentacles, Holy Spirit. Yeah, they want to come out the cold, a magician. Somebody could be definitely, um, just, that's not going to be for everybody. But somebody could be constantly, constantly thinking about you, sending you sexual energy chatting on your name to get you to come back to them. That's not going to be for everybody, but I have to um, I have to mention it because spirit is bringing it to my attention. Somebody feel like you just sealed off living your best life. I'm hearing somebody focused on their winning season. Mm. Yeah, the hermit. The Hermit and the Page of Wands. A lot of you guys are working on yourself. You guys are working on your creative endeavors. Um, starting, just coming up with new ideas, amazing ideas, new things to, you know, to um, bring forth, to present to the world, to present to your family, your coworkers, whoever. Hmm. We have Virgo. Um, we have Virgo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus out here again. We have two Virgos, two Taurus cards, Aries. Yeah. But there's a lot of feelings and emotions here. Somebody is like, you know, Cup speaks about emotions. Someone is not trying to let this love go away. We got love off in abundance. 
Okay, somebody sees you as the one, whether it's wifey or husband material, somebody realizing you are the abundance. You are the abundance. Being with you, getting another shot, they said it's not over. I'm here for you like a soldier. Mm. You're like a soldier. You step to your own beat. Somebody finds you very amazing. King of Pentacles. You got the king to the queen. This person is in their head. Because with the Ace of Wands, they want this passion new beginning. But with the Tower card being here, somebody is afraid. Yeah, we have the temperance and the justice. Somebody is afraid. Um, I feel like this person, the only thing that's holding this person back is themselves. That's what's holding this person back. Added um, the fear of you, you not reconciling with them. Because the Ace of Wands and the Tower... Somebody is having a sudden epiphany. They want this new passion to begin with you. With the justice card being here, somebody wants, um, I'm hearing harmony. Somebody wants to bring harmony. They want to bring balance. Somebody know that, you know, they gave you an injustice in the past. But with this temperance card being here, somebody wants to balance a situation out with you. I'm hearing that this has been too long. That this has been too long. Give me a card on the tower, Holy Spirit. Give me a card on the tower, Holy Spirit. I can't make it up. The tower is the cups. With the Knight of Wands. Somebody got a lot of passion for you. Six of Swords. Mmm. This person is feeling guided to come back to you and make things right. Three of Wands. What are they waiting on? I feel like they're waiting because they're free. Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords also can mean, depending on how the cards lined up, it can mean that somebody just holding back. Okay, the um, Seven of Swords can mean that somebody's holding back information from you. And I feel like the reason why you guys are in this waiting period right now is because this person is holding back what they want and how they truly feel. And it also could be because this damn karmic is spying. Somebody might feel like they got to move a certain way because they probably got a crazy ass karmic on them. Yeah, <laughs> I can't make it up. What did I just say? What did I just say? They got to move in private because they got a crazy ass call me. But the whisper say to hurt me. Yeah, somebody feel like they got to move inside. Yeah, this comic. Whoever this damn comic is that's watching you guys, this comic know that this person coming towards you. This karma could have caught this person red-handed watching you, looking at your pictures, old text messages. Somebody got caught. Somebody got caught watching you in private. I don't know whether it was on social media, reading old pictures, text messages, but somebody got spirit. Give me a card on Hermit. Please and thank you. Your person got caught. They know. Yeah, not a cups. They was doing something a lot. Eight of Cups in the Tower. Yeah, the Death card and Six of Pentacles. Your person is no longer given to this situation anymore. This karmic knows this. This karmic knows this. Ooh, that's why this person feel like they got to move in silent. Mmm. Give me a card on the Eight of Swords, Holy Spirit. A lot of you guys have called me no of you. 
King Red Card of the Eight of Swords. Ooh, Page of Swords. I feel like yeah, this is your person that watches you a lot, too. I feel like the, your person in the karmic watches you a lot. I'm picking up on two energies that's not giving up on each other. One person felt like they took too damn long. Okay? They don't even know how to approach you anymore because you have grown so much. Yeah, two of wands, ace of swords. Somebody feel like you're going a whole nother direction. Somebody caught this person right handed, I'm telling you. Yeah, knight of cups and the hangman. Somebody stuck on this love that you guys have for one another. That's why this person feel like they got to move. Yeah, I'm telling you. Somebody knows that this person is coming to bring you an offer of commitment. And they coming in quick. But this person is kind of scared because this person know that they either they cheated on you. Or they put you in a third party situation. Somebody is sorry for that. Yeah, they sorry for that. The fool card. Mm-hmm. They want a, a, a restart. King of Wands. There's somebody that want to take action towards you with the star card and handle the situation. Yeah, high priestess and the moon card, but they feel like they got to move in secret because there's a crazy karmic that's on them. Give me a card on the moon. This person is all in their mind trying to strategize how can they do this? How can they move in secret? How can I how, mm, how can I move in secret without this person ruining it for me? Yeah, the moon card is clear out with the Queen of Cups. Somebody is all in their mind and their head about this love that they have for you. Ooh. Two of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Somebody is coming in quick, and I don't feel like you. I don't feel like you see this. But I, I, there's an energy that this person know that they got to move a certain way because someone is, someone is trying to block this. Give me a card on the two of swords. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah. Five of swords in reverse. This person is going to come to you and speak their peace. And y'all got to be very careful, though. There's a crazy deranged, jealous-ass karmic on the loose. Whew. But I had the temperance here, the nine of pentacles, the empress, the king of cups, the eight of pentacles, the sun card. Wow. Wow. It ain't nothing that's going to be able to stop this person from coming towards you. This person sees you as an earth angel. Um, this person... Th there's nobody out here that can stop this person from coming towards you trying to make this right. You make this person very happy. There's something about your energy that's very healing. It feels like... It feels safe. It feels true. It feels divine. It feels honest. It feels real. It feels authentic. And somebody cannot fight it anymore. Somebody is in love. And their mind is driving them crazy. Yeah, their mind is driving them crazy. Two eight of swords. Ace of swords. Spirit, that's the damn truth. Yes, it's the in mind, the devil, the, the world card, seven of cups. It's in their mind. Because this person know they gave you unrequited love at one, one point in time. And it was like a ricochet. It went right back. Like, you grew. 
so much after this. And whatever they meant for you, it went right back. And now they're hurt. Five of Pentacles. Feeling left out. I'm telling you, somebody did not know you was the key to the abundance. This person had a lot of growing up to do. Damn, could be your twin flame. Four of Wands of the Emperor. Or just someone who just overdid their control when he was in a commitment with you. For a lot of you guys, you can have moved away. Or you could have once lived with this person. And it was a lot of arguments, a lot of fights, a lot of chaos. And that's what causes you guys to go your separate way. But somebody picked up on a picked up a rebound and thought you was gonna chase. You did not chase. That was the judgment. Justice. Ace of Cups. The shrimp card. Whoever this chosen divine being, sun seeds, that I'm picking up on and who you are. I just got to be honest with you. This person will forever have you in their mind. Forever. I'm hearing somebody want to celebrate. Somebody want to celebrate. Give me a call, Holy Spirit, or the Bible one. Somebody want to celebrate. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, they had you in competition with that third party. I'm here and I want to submit to you. <laughs> Anything you ask this person to do, they're going to do. Somebody want to make love to you. I want to kiss you. I miss you. All right, I'm about to get out of your first image now. Yeah, three of Wands. They had you waiting. They had you waiting. Yeah, seven of swords while they go out and be sneaky and lie. Have you all in your feelings, give you mixed feelings? Not knowing the whole time. King of Pentacles. Somebody somebody was not chasing behind no damn peasant. When you were empress. Yeah. Whoever this person is, they want to apologize. Will of Fortune. Somebody want to change. Somebody want something to change. Ten of Cups, the Four Swords. Somebody want to heal a family dynamic with you. You are this person of complete happiness. Six of Swords with the Chariot. This person is coming. I'm here and I'm making plans to be with you. Page of Wands with the Queen of Wands. Ten of Swords. Somebody betrayed you. Mmm. Give me more messages from the or anything else. Damn, somebody in love. Somebody also see the self-love you have for yourself. How chosen, how divine you are. Somebody is wishing. When I say wishes, I see it. Somebody is wishing. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Boundaries. That's the seven of wands. Yeah. Forgive. Somebody wants your forgiveness. Karma. Clarity. You could have received clarity. This person is suffering right now, going through a lot of karma. Somebody misses your passionate, <sighs> your love. Just by touching this person can heal this person. Your body on this person's body can heal them. We have confession and mixed feelings. I feel like you're going to be surprised at this person's confession once they come towards you. You're going to realize this person gave you mixed feelings and mixed signals because this is how they felt about themselves. Somebody is, is, is very good at projecting. Do too much projecting. It was never your energy. Somebody wanted to confuse you. 
But all it did was level you up mentally, spiritually, and physically. But this person is coming back. Let me get you some cards from Spirit before we close this out. Give me some more messages, Holy Spirit, from Dory and Angel Daddy. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Somebody's trying to get that confidence up, Sussie. Because with the Eight of Cups and the Judgment, somebody feel like you're done. Make the effort. I'm telling you, what did I just say? Somebody got to get the confidence up. Whoever this person is, they got to get the confidence up. But I feel like they are, though. Yeah. Somebody is receiving a lot of signs. This person can always constantly be reminded of you. I feel like if there's any red flags, you're definitely going to be cautious of it. Especially with this karmic that is watching and you heavily. It is safe for you to love. Wow. Wow. It is safe for you to love. True love. Somebody in the love. Yes. Look at this. True love, unrequited love, passion, and children. I feel like the reason why unrequited love, passion, and, and children is here because it's what did I say earlier, Sunsee? Whoever your ex is or whoever you're in separation from, this is somebody that just needed time to mature. They really did. They needed um, time to mature. They knew they couldn't just come to you, you know, just want to have sex, being childish, um, not giving you the, you know, the love that you deserve and you require, what you was giving them. This person was childish as hell. They needed to mature. Mm. Yeah, finances and career. Somebody dealing with karma. Somebody did not know once you left, the abundance left. You deserve love, forgiving, and learning. Somebody wants your forgiveness. Somebody sees how much you deserve this love. Damn. We have wedding and past life relationship. For a lot of you guys, this person's gonna come back with a proposal. We seen it earlier. Yeah, new perspective, leap of faith. This is the hangman, the fool card, that king of wands. Somebody's gonna come and take action. Yeah, but jealous and guarded. Ooh, y'all need to guard yourself from that comment. Cause that karma is, <laughs> and not even nowhere in the way. It's just the fact that like, this was never even your person. Confession. Yeah. So confession is gonna be that the true love has always been with you. I can't make it up, reconcile. This is what they want. 